What's up everyone? Uh, Pablo from Style Systems. Let's talk about something that I see a lot of people doing it wrong. This video was inspired thanks to a picture that I saw, okay? And it is called the formula of perfection. Why is it called uh, the, the formula of perfection? Why? Because you'll see why. It's uh, the next product that I will be releasing. I want to share, this is something that I wrote, a post that I wrote, uh, I think a week ago. And it has to do with improving your sense of aesthetics, your sense of fashion, improving your sense of uh, style and whatnot. But physical image, you know, I'm not even talking about, you know, the communication and blah, blah. I'm talking about the way that you dress yourself. Whatever you want to improve the way that you look, think in terms of balance, of harmony, visual harmony. Right now, I will do a little exercise so you can actually see what I'm talking about. But instead of thinking of the <clears throat> the brand of the the brand of the of the outfit that you're wearing, how much it costs you, or is it trendy or is it not trendy? Instead of thinking about those things, uh, think think in terms of balance, proportion, silhouette. Think of it as art. You are a piece of art, and what you put on, it is like the the brushes, you know, the, 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 the painting, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because I see a lot of people, first of all, dressing themselves, well, you know, whenever they try to improve with their image, they're doing it in their minds, they're doing it because what are others going to think about me, right? So if I show myself in front of the camera with a hat, with this suit, what are you going to think? Oh. I know, I hope they think that I'm a classy guy and buying all that bullshit. So do not make that same mistake that I see a lot of people doing, <clears throat> which is they dress themselves in, with, in, inside of their minds, they're thinking, what are others going to think? When in reality, they should be thinking or caring, what are you going to think about yourself? What are you going to communicate? Is it being congruent with who you are, with what you do, with, you know, with your job, with what you say, with blah, 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 blah. It is more important your opinion than the opinion of others. Actually, it is the only opinion. It is the most important thing. Then, when you're trying to improve the way that you look, do not fall into the trap that you're doing it because because of the cost, you know, if I buy a high level brand, a Gucci or a Fendi or whatever, oh, I just improve with my fashion because I spent uh, on a high quality brand. I mean, does it help? Yeah, of course it helps because high brands, you know, high quality brands, they spend more money, more time, more effort into their designs, into their fabrics and whatnot. But that is not going to make you look better, okay? And the other one is, uh, yeah, the, the brand and the, the, the cost. The other one is copying others, you know, because if you think that this looks good on me, then maybe you want to improve with your image and you start, you start copying me, right? <laughs> Later on, we're gonna see a lot of bunch of me's, you know, wearing a mustache and wearing this type of suits and whatnot. And it, this has nothing to do with it. Imagine that you want to become a painter, you know, an artist, an, a, an, an artist painter. And then as you start painting, you have no sense of art. You have zero uh, experience and zero zen, a sense of what is beautiful and what is not beautiful. Now, if you want to become an artist, you have to be in touch with other artists. You have to be in touch at least, at the very least, you have to be in touch with other um, paintings. Now, that does not mean that you are going to copy them, but it will inspire you 
it will make you feel like oh you know what i i get a feeling of what this whole thing of painting is is all about well the same goes with your fashion you have to uh you know go outside go into the stores get a sense of what is happening out there within the fashion world and what is what what is perceived as beautiful what is not what is perceived as ugly you know baggy shit always looks horrible you know i don't care if you're a cholo if you're a, a, a gangster or whatever looks horrible baggy things looks horrible but the purpose of this is because i want you to understand that instead of thinking all of the things that i just told you that you shouldn't be doing think in terms of balance think in terms of proportion of silhouette because it doesn't matter if you have a high quality shirt but it's longer on the on the lower side of your body and it makes you look on proportion does that make sense i mean this is why this is, this is called the formula of perfection because i created a system called spfc system which stands for for silhouette proportion fit and color when you learn these four things uh, you truly improve with the way with your fashion with the way that you look with your physical image whatever however people look at you you will look or you will be perceived as someone attractive as someone that has visual harmony balance why because this is a, a, a science this is not about oh you know i like wearing my mustache because this is this looks good now if you really pay attention to my work and to me you will know and you if you've been following me you probably already know that i wear this beard because it makes my my face more proportioned now the mustache is because i'm branding myself but this I have a very short chin so my face looks uh, unproportioned okay so that's why I wear this beard and now it creates more balance with the length the whole length of my face same things with my body I have a short torso so I have to be very careful when I choose my shirts or the length of my suits because I I, I may look unproportioned not harmonious you know i may not look uh i i may not achieve visual harmony which is all what you want to achieve when it comes to your fashion visual harmony you want to be pleasant when somebody sees you looks at you mm, you know it's like a piece of art it looks pleasant maybe you don't like that type of art you know maybe you don't like classic art maybe you like more uh, romantic uh, the romanticism and whatnot However, when you see a good piece of art, you know, something beautiful, you can appreciate it. And that is exactly what you can get if you apply the formula of perfection, which is remember, silhouette, proportion, fit, and color. It is going to, it, it is a new product that I'm developing. I'm almost done with it. Uh, it's going to be a series of videos where I explain and teach you how to actually apply this on you or another person. And, and that will improve your, the, the way that you look tremendously a hundred percent guaranteed it's going to be released uh june 5th so stay tuned but the purpose of this video is i've been seeing a lot of people improving with their image and i applaud that you know actually it inspires me however when whenever you're trying to improve with your fashion and with the way that you look think in terms of balance of of of, of harmony you know if you're wearing a a bright color on the upper side of your body then you should lower it down on the uh, you know balance it out on the lower side of your body you know you cannot be wearing oh, like very bright colors you know you should only have one focal point on your on your fashion you know so balance shit out okay that is what you want to create with your fashion think in terms of art you know you are a piece of art so you have to balance it out you have to be the artist and create balance and create harmony and make it pleasant and make it more beautiful okay that is what you want to achieve with your fashion with that i'm going to leave you become the best version of yourself and stay tuned for june 5th the formula of perfection will be released and your fashion and your image will never be the same again <laughs> see you on the next one